It is 2022 driver comparison time here on the Second Swing YouTube channel. We've got the TaylorMade Stealth Plus and the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS. Thomas will hit the shots on TrackMan and we will see what the differences are. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. New drivers for 2022 uh, from TaylorMade and Callaway, two of those most recognizable brands out there in golf. Uh, TaylorMade Stealth Plus and the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS. So these are two of those kind of drivers that are going to be really up your alley, Thomas. A little bit lower launching, lower spinning, kind of kind of geared for those players with faster swing speeds like yourself. So. Um, given what we know about these clubs, uh, again, this is early in 2022 yet, uh, what do you think we'll see from this test? Yeah, so first off, this is an initial test of stock versus stock golf shaft. So we don't have all the fitting components yet, but it's still going to be very comparable because the weight of these golf shaft is in that 60 gram category in that stiff flex. They're both 9 degree heads, they're both low spinning driver options. Yeah. So my guess is fast ball speed, low spin, yeah. and probably some serious distance. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of new pieces for each of these drivers. You know, you talk about the 60X carbon twist face on the TaylorMade driver, uh, the new carbon material on the club face, that's new. And then same with the with Callaway, they have the new tungsten speed cartridge uh, on the back of that club head as well. So a couple of new features, and then also incorporated with each of them is a lot of the old features that have made each of their driver lines so successful over the years. So. Uh, I imagine this is going to be a really good test. Again, testing some of the, this is brand new for us. Uh, we're, we're still getting used to what each of these clubs is really, uh, you know, going to perform well for golfers. So um, I'm excited to see what happens here, Thomas. I know you're really excited to see and hit some bombs here. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go after it today. I'm going to hit some I bombs that. I and love that. see which one is going to go the furthest. All right, let's do it. All right, so Thomas, we covered this in the swing report, but I just want to get your take again. Look down at that Stealth Plus. Uh, what do you see? Yeah, so nice, good-looking black crown yeah. on, on top. I'm seeing a little bit of the red face when I put it down. Not a lot of it. Now, if you have more loft on the driver, you're going to sure. see more. Less loft on the driver, you're going to see less. These are both going to be tested at 9 degrees today. But, yeah, I'm seeing uh, black with, with regards to, and also a wrap around the edge. There's maybe not. It's more of a glossy finish yeah, okay. on that wrap. But it looks like a pretty compact driver head. Okay, yeah. So kind of like, you know, the Sim 2 or, or Sim of the past, a little more compact aimed at that. Yep. Of, uh, more forward center of gravity. Correct, yeah. So yeah, for today we're gonna, I'm gonna do this a little different. Instead of just going five, hit five, then hit five with the other, we're gonna, I'm gonna take turns. So I'm actually gonna okay. hit one, hit another, hit one, right. hit the other. How many shots are we hitting then? We're gonna hit like maybe eight or 10 with each one and we'll take okay. a look at the numbers. So All you right. gotta do a good job of keeping up with the tags today. Oh yeah, well, well don't worry about me. All right. Interesting, that's a pretty efficient drive right there. Yeah, I feel like I caught that one a little bit on the toe side. Well, that'll work. It'll work. Wow. That was a that was a hack at it. Yeah, that was a little more speed there. Bull speed. This is crazy. Wow. Some pretty We're seeing some differences. We're seeing definitely some seeing differences some differences right off the bat, yeah. We're seeing so far that Stealth has got a little more bowl speed. Mm -hmm. And club speed. It seems like, it seems like uh, a couple of, you've turned over a couple of those Stealth ones a lot more. Again, right. This is early, but early on, I feel like I've hit more left and right with the TaylorMade. Yep. That that rogue seems to be a little straighter so far. Yeah. Just can't get there. Well, that's a pretty consistent shot shape, though, with that that rogue ST right now. That might be pretty far. Ooh, yep. yeah. 
That's a good ball. Wow. That is one to chase right there. That's kind of setting the pace right now. Well, that's a swing. Oh, we got some competition. There we go. Wow. Interesting. Oh, wow. You're getting better as we go here, Thomas. <laughs> this is a battle. This is a battle of the big boys. Well, that was hit well, too. Wow. All right. This, so is a, this is a clinic right here by Thomas Campbell. We are five swings in, mm -hmm. we've taken one shot each time with each driver. Yeah. This is a Let's different a this is a different method of, of uh, you know our testing that we've done. Uh, usually it's we hit five or four, or maybe flip back and forth and kind of get into that rhythm. But since we're not hitting the same shaft and we're not switch swapping heads, um, we have just the stock offerings. We can kind of go back and forth here. So um, first through five with each, tell me about look and feel. Um, differences there. I know new for Callaway is that matte crown, which has been different. They've had the glossy look on yep. the, in the past. So what do you think about that? Yeah, the matte, I love the fact it's not shiny. Yeah. I think I think that's, that's awesome, especially if you, I don't wear sunglasses when I'm playing outside. So if I was going to play this one, I wouldn't be worried about any glare, which, yeah. is, which, is, which is awesome. Uh, one thing I kind of noticed, now I know this isn't the exact same golf shaft. We're talking in that same 60 gram category. Yep. And they're both 45 and three quarters of inches, so the same length. But I just felt like when I was hitting this Rogue ST, I couldn't quite match the same club speed as what mm -hmm. I was getting with the, with the Stealth. Now, whether that is the, the way the design of the club head with the Stealth uh, as well, we're just helping the aerodynamics. Yeah. I don't know, but I just noticed that I couldn't quite keep up with the speed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can see the numbers here. There's a big difference. That's three miles an hour difference in club speed. Um, between the Rogue ST Max LS on average, it was stout against the Stealth Plus, and this is five shots with each so far. So, and that's a significant difference. Um, but with that said, so there's that advantage that it seems like basically, you know, through five shots with each, Stealth has the speed advantage. Right, there's a potential, potential distance advantage because yes. I was swinging a little faster. But then, I mean, look at the map, and you can see there's, Rogue's got the advantage in terms of consistency and dispersion. Right. Yeah, I mean, if you switch that to total distance, I'd be curious to see how that looks there. And really, we're talking pretty, pretty close there yeah. in the same distance. Um, efficiency was a little bit better with the Rogue mm -hmm. Max LS, 147 versus 146. So even though I wasn't swinging as fast, I was generating a little bit more ball speed overall. Yep. Um, a little higher launch and a little lower spin with the Rogue Max LS. Yeah. Um, which was I was able to keep up there, and we can see total distance. Actually, yeah, the Rogue they are Max LS neck was, and neck right now in total distance. Yeah. That's uh, interesting. It's actually ahead by 0 0.3 of a yard with yeah, five shots. It is. Shots it in. is interesting how you know all of these metrics are pretty different. You know, club speed, uh, ball speed. Uh, you know, talk about spin and launch, but then you end, you know, ultimately the distance is basically the same through five. That's kind of kind of crazy, but it shows how all these you know these metrics can be different but get the same result. Like you can have High launch, low spin, and vice versa, and still get a similar distance. Right. Yeah. It's. I mean, we're talking three or four hundred RPM difference there in spin. Yeah. That, that Rogue. Right. Um, ST Max LS is definitely. And it's very consistent. A low too. spin. And then yeah. look at the consistency numbers on all the way across the board. Rogue Max, Rogue ST Max LS versus the Stealth. I mean, all across the board, the the deviation is usually smaller. So across the board here. So right. something to note, and we'll probably watch for with the rest of these shots here. Yeah, so a good start here with both of them. I mean, those numbers oh, yeah. are still incredible. Yeah. I mean, I'm hitting at 320 yards. Right. right. I'm very impressed. Yeah, no, on yeah. average. So yeah. uh, maybe we'll uh, increase those numbers here over the next five with each. All right, let's hit five more. Okay. A little more club speed there. Yeah, I mean, Turn it's it over a little bit, still though. a little bit... Still a little bit short mm -hmm. of what yeah. we're seeing with the. You got your attacking to nine degrees there. That could turn over a little bit too. Yeah. Those last two are pretty similar. Yeah, it's still that same trend. More club speed with the, with the stealth, but more spin mm -hmm. with the stealth also.
Wow. And we're seeing, we're starting to see with that, that Rogue ST, a little more of that draw showing up here. Yeah, once again, low spin. Oh, that yeah. was hit well. Oh yeah. Yikes. Wow. Got one with the stealth that had some lower spin on it. Yeah, lower spin and more ball speed on that one. That right now is the leader. Mm -hmm. I know you were in the swing report video. You were chasing that three ten carry number, and we almost you're got right it. there here too. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty darn good. There's some extra spin. spin. Yep. Yep. Ooh, that's a good ball. It's good. It's not quite going to get to that, that stealth number, but it's, it's really close. Oh, wow. Yikes. Whoa. There's the, there's the Look low spinner. Look at that. That low spin. Wow. <laughs> 338.7. Goodness gracious. All right, one more with each one here. But I, I have a feeling 338.7 is going to stand. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. Yeah, that's pretty deep. I didn't hit that very well. Might be a good miss. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, that smash did dip a little bit to 144, but... You still hit it 321. Yep. All right. One more. One more swing for the day here. Uh, I didn't hit it very well. Not quite. All right. All right. Well, let's take a look at the, the, numbers the here. 10 shots versus yeah. the 10. How are you feeling, Thomas? After that, it's I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So I could notice a difference between these golf chefs. As I mentioned, they're both at 45 and inches and three, 45 and three quarters inches. I notice that the the tens eye just seems like it's just a little bit, little bit stiffer. Okay. As opposed to the, the was it the Ka, Ka, the Kali? Kylai. The, the Kylai. So the, the <laughs> Kylai for me, it just feels like it's a little bit softer. Yeah, I think I can. Which it, I think that's going to relate to that club speed that we're that yeah. we're seeing that potential. We're club seeing speed. that difference. Mm -hmm. Stock versus stock. I think this shaft has got more potential for club speed yeah. than this one. It and seems, I think that's what we're seeing. It certainly seems like that because I know, you know, in a lot of these, um, you know, I know you kind of try to match up that club speed, but today you were just kind of swinging to, to see what yep. kind of distance you could get here. I was going all out, and, and I just feel like that shaft was giving yeah, me a better chance. You were chance generating to more speed, more speed um, as picked up by Trackman, about three miles an hour more speed with a Stealth Plus. Um, which generated more ball speed by three miles an hour. It's funny yep. how that works, right? Three, there's a 3.1 difference actually in both categories. So uh, that worked out perfectly. Uh, a little bit more efficient with the Rogue ST Max LS and Smash Factor launch angle was way higher actually. Um, right. Which is something to note, I think. So even though we were getting some ball speed and club speed gains with the Stealth Plus, now the ball speed gains were only because of the club speed. Right. I mean, we, were actually getting, we're... we were actually getting more ball speed with the, with the Rogue ST because based on club speed. So we're looking yeah. at that smash factor number. You know, more 148 versus match, 146. Yeah. yeah. So, but what we'll notice here is higher launch angle and lower spin yeah. with, the, with the Rogue Max Interesting. LS. Because it's funny how that works out because now look at how comparable those distance numbers are on average. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're basically the exact same there on, yeah. on average. And that's 10 versus 10. That's not taking out any, mm -hmm. any miss hits or anything like that. That's just, it's crazy how how close those cl those drivers are on average. Yeah, I mean, I mean, looking across the board, attack angle is very similar, seven and a half to almost eight. Landing angle, 42.3 to 42.7. Height between a, a two foot <laughs> difference. I mean, you're swinging the club very similarly with both. Uh, crazy, and then I think the big difference that you see then is the dispersion mat, right. which we expand that. You can really see how, I think you noted right away, I think it could be shaft related too, that while you might be getting that more potential distance with uh, the Kyle shaft and that stealth, plus um, it did create the more potential for a 
you know, more curve left or right as well. Right, and I think like their, the tungsten speed cartridge, like, you know, ST, I think of yeah. it stability. Yeah. I think it's just giving a little bit more s stability on those, on those yeah. sets in there. And we can see that with the dispersion pattern. Um, however, look at those three white dots that went further than anything else. Right, yep, you got the, the yeah, I'm gonna bring these numbers up on these ones because you had, you know, this one here, 328.8, I think that's just a hair further than your farthest rogue one. Yep. But then you had, you know, 333.9 and then this one, of course, <laughs> with, you know, you see that spin right. jumped all the way down. It would have really that one would there. have been high toll uh, right. and just, yeah. You, you hit it solid, thing. but you caught it just enough on the, on the kind of higher on the face and a little yep. maybe towards the toe that it really dipped that spin down and it was just a knuckleball piercing through the air and there you go, 338.7 yards of a total distance drive there for Thomas with the Stealth Plus. So That might be the furthest drive I've ever hit testing. It's close. It's, I, I can't think. Um, I know yeah. you were, we had the video of like the Autoflex shaft. Autoflex shaft, I was getting 119 mile an hour club speed then. Yeah. So that was giving me the potential there. But with a, you know, 45, three quarter inch golf shaft, yep. that might be, and I think it's certainly a stock flex. shaft. Certainly is some sort of stock shaft that's got to be the farthest. And these are also nine degree heads too. There's right. a little bit more potential. There, there. is the potential if yeah. you wanted to drop. You know, I think that we'll do that sometime on the channel where we'll get you an eight degree stealth plus head, drop down to six. And right. I mean, I, now based on this, I kind of yeah. want to see a 350 yard drive from you. <laughs> I'll get there, I guess. I got to get that club speed to 120. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this really comes down to that distance versus dispersion debate. Yeah. I, I, would, I would say, yeah, there's three shots when I was looking at this, and this is one thing you've got to have a conversation with, with customers all the time in, in fitting. It's like, yeah, you can you get that out a little bit further, but you'll notice there was a wider mm -hmm. range. Those white dots were just yeah. a little bit more I mean, you had this, these, this, this chunk over shots over here where you're you know, pulling it and it kind of almost got away from you a little bit on that draw, um, whereas it didn't seem to really happen ever with the, the Rogue ST Max LS. You know, you're, it was drawing, but it wasn't out of control draw, which a few of those Stealth Plus uh, shots seem to be that way. So, yeah, yeah uh, I think this is this is an awesome comparison to yeah. start out. There's definitely future. We've got to do it more future ones with the exact same golf yeah. shaft. Once we get our fitting components in, we'll be able to do some comparison with our all fit system, mm -hmm. same golf shaft, and yeah. see really which one is kind of performing no. better there. But well, this is fun, and we know what to expect now too, because we kind of see that stability emphasis with the Rogue ST Max LS, and maybe a speed emphasis or uh, advantage, so to speak, with the Stealth Plus, but. That, this is really good stuff, and I think you know golfers that are you know chomping at the bit for some new stuff, new information on these new drivers for 2022 are really gonna are gonna like this one. So, so Thomas, nice work on the tee shots today. I mean, look at that map. That's a lot of balls right down the middle of the fairway, or maybe with that draw movement just left. That's a lot of great tee shots. Um, and again, the, both these drivers are fantastic. So, 2022 should be a really big year. Right. I don't know. I don't think we can really claim a winner today. I think we noticed, yeah. you know, if we were going to summarize this, the Stealth Plus, the furthest drive went the furthest. If we take a look at the averages, the, the right. Rogue ST was just a little bit further on average, mm -hmm. but then the consistency, the dispersion pattern was a little bit tighter. Yeah. So more optimization, mm -hmm. and uh, both of these drivers are going to be yeah. incredible in I like that. I like that little teaser. Stay yeah. tuned for future testing, and we'll see how just how far Thomas can hit these drivers in the future. So Maybe I can hit it 350 yards. <laughs>